We've all faced situations where your data becomes accidentally deleted or your hard drive becomes damaged. Today, I'm going to show you how to recover your data in such situations. We're going to be using a program called Disk Drill. We're now over here on the Disk Drill website, which you can access through the link in the video description. And this is where you're going to be downloading the software. Now, you can get this for both Mac and Windows. I'm a Windows user, so for this demonstration, we're going to be using it with Windows. And then you have two options. You can either do the free download or you can upgrade to Pro. Now, as part of the free download, Disk Drill offers free data recovery within 500 megabytes. Now, if you need to recover more than that, you are going to need to upgrade to Pro. But what's nice, though, is that at least with the free download, you can see everything that Disk Drill is able to do for you, and you can see which specific files are able to be recovered. So essentially, you know exactly what you're getting before you do upgrade to Pro. But we're going to click on free download to get that started. Now the software is downloading, and then you're going to click on install, and now it's setting up. And then from there, click on launch. And now we've arrived to the setup screen. So you can see that Disk Drill 4 features simplicity and speed. It supports a variety of different file systems. The software knows what to recover, so you can preview more file formats than ever before. And you can manage all of your recoverable data in File Explorer. So we're going to click on continue. I'm going to enable data protection here, and that will increase your data recovery chances in case of accidental file loss. And we're going to get started. So here is the disk drill software itself. Let's do a quick tour here. So in the center here, you can see that we have our hardware disks and logical volumes. So essentially every drive that's either internal in the computer itself or connected to the computer, such as this flash drive that I have plugged into one of the USB ports, then on the left side, we have some extra features such as data protection and drive backup. And then you'll see your recent sessions. Now, I freshly installed this software here, so I don't have any sessions currently present. But I will in a second here after I show you how the software works. Now, when I select the drive on the right side here, we have the recovery tab. And it gives you all the various recovery methods that are available. So for this particular drive, we can do a deep scan or search for lost partitions. There's also an info tab here giving you more detailed info about the drive itself, such as the way that it's currently formatted, the full capacity, and the available space. So first what I want to do is do a scan of this USB drive, and I do have one video file that's about 1.23 gigabytes on here already, with the file actually here to see if it shows up or not, which it should of course because it is there. And then what I'm going to do after that is delete the file and then do another scan to see if I can recover it. So I selected the drive here. I'm going to go over to deep scan. And then in the bottom corner here, I'm going to click on search for lost data. And now it's getting started. It's scanning. So right now it is currently scanning the drive to see everything that's on it. And it looks like so far it has already found two documents. And you can review the found items while it's still scanning. But I'm going to let this continue here and do the full scan. And then we'll see what all is present here on this flash drive. So the deep scan is complete and it looks like it found 78 files. I think a lot of those files are just little files related to the bigger video file, but you can see there's the video file right there. So very awesome that the scan was able to find everything that is on the drive itself. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything that's in this drive here. So I'm going to delete all of those files, including the video file that I'm going to be recovering in a little bit. So I'm going to delete those. So the drive is empty. The recycle bin is also empty. And then we're back on disk drill. I'm going to click on the drive again. I'm going to go to all recovery methods. And then I'm going to start a deep scan. So the scan has now been completed. And it looks like it found some files. So let's review the found items. And you can see here we do have that video file that's been recovered because of the deep scan. So then from there, I'm going to click on recover all. And now it's time to do the upgrade. So since I only get 500 megabytes for free and I need to recover 17.3 gigabytes of lost data, I need to upgrade. And if you're in that same position, then don't worry, I've got you covered. So go over to the video description and I have a discount code so that you can save some money on disk drill. So I'm going to activate the software right now with the code that I have. 
but feel free to use the code in the video description so that you can save some money on your purchase. So I've now successfully activated the software. So I now have Disk Drill Pro. We're going to click on Let's Do It. And then I'm going to select where I want the data to recover to. And I've selected the destination where I want it to go now. So I'm going to click on OK. And the recovery process is now beginning. So it's taking all of the recovered data and copying it over to the destination that I've chosen. And it looks like it's going to take a little while, but that's due to it being such a large amount of files. But I'm really excited to finally be able to recover that video file. The data recovery is now complete. And here is the folder that I exported all of the recovered files to. And you can see right here, here's that video file that I had deleted before. And it plays just like normal. So very awesome there that it did work. So I'm very excited about that. And certainly in this situation, Disk Drill came to my rescue. So again, if you're looking to buy the pro version of the software, you can get a discount with the coupon code in the video description. So certainly check that out. I also want to mention again that Disk Drill, in addition to working with Windows, it works with Mac, iPhones, and removable storage. So any type of storage that you have, you will be able to use Disk Drill with it. But thanks for watching this video about Disk Drill. Hopefully you enjoyed it and let me know what you think about it in the comments section below.